Metroid update and Bayonetta 3 in one video? This feels good. Oh, tickles a little bit. Oh, oh, we have Reggie, please, the man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays? Everybody, how are y'all doing? Before we get started with the video, give the video a thumbs up, like, like. Can we do it? Can we get to 400 likes for this video? 400. Look and see. If you don't have, we don't have 400 yet. Are you contributing to the cause? All right. We have some dope, dope, dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video. And the first one is a banger, brah. We could have just gotten a tease for Metroid information coming in 2021. Now, it's from a tweet by a Metroid insider. This dude is considered an insider. Philutipilea. I just butchered his name. Um, this is coming from GameRant.com. And he, um, his tweet hints at several upcoming Nintendo games, including a new Pokemon and Fire Emblem release. Now, this corroborates with news we got a couple days ago. Many um, Pokemon insiders confirmed that we're going to be getting a Pokemon Diamond Pearl remake launching later this year possible um direct in february um talking about this new pokemon game but the article continues of particular interest to metroid fans is the image of samus taken from the cover of metroid 2 return of samus there's no clear indication as to whether the image was chosen specifically to hint something about that game or if it's interchangeable with any other picture of Samus. Now, this is what I want us to keep in mind. Given that Metroid 2 has a Nintendo 3DS remake, Metroid Samus Returns, it's odd that the tweet didn't use art from that game instead. And so a couple things, couple things to break down, break down with this information. One, hinting at some kind of metroid information coming soon now it could be metroid prime 4 nintendo cannot go 2021 without giving us any information on this game this is all we've gotten since it was announced three four years ago bro but I would be all in. There were um, hints, uh, rumors too, about a 2D Metroid game coming to the Switch. And this would be the perfect game. A remake for the Switch of Samus Returns, upscaled and optimized for the Switch. This game launched on the 3DS where the Switch was already out, bro. When I saw this trailer, I was hyped. I do have this game on my 3DS, but all the while, I was saying to myself, I've moved on to my Switch Nintendo. Why wasn't this a dual release on the Switch and the 3DS? You can support your old platform and still make the game available on your new platform. Look at Sony, Spider-Man Miles Morales, both old and new on the PS4 and PS5. I was hoping this was gonna come to the Switch. So, if we get a Samus uh, Metroid 2 remake, remastered, whatever, on the Switch, I would be here for that. But, the news keeps on getting better. Not just Metroid, but very likely, we could be getting some Bayonetta! information um 
the game developer, uh, Kamaya, he was recently interviewed. And one question that was asked that will um, pique your interest. This is the, what the interviewer said. I believe that you're busy with new projects, question mark. And this is what K Kamaya um, replied. Well, I suppose we've been working on new stuff like Bayonetta 3. Not that I can say too much, but I hope that we can give an update during the year. And so he's saying that he can't say anything. He's under tight restrictions by Nintendo. But he's saying that he's hopeful of an update this year. Two things, I'm hyped and a little bummed. One, dope that we get some information on this game. Man, Bayonetta 2, the combat was so lit. I uh, beat that game on my Wii U. I didn't double dip on my Switch, but fantastic game. Bro, that's what's hype that we could be getting new information. But he's saying, hopefully we can give you an update this year. Meaning, the game probably not going to release this year, but who knows? He's just saying that hopefully he can give an update on the game this year. Man, I was hoping for Bayonetta 3 to drop. Um, sometime like October would be a perfect time for this game. But um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get more information on both what Nintendo has cooking up for Metroid, Metroid Prime 4, or 2D Pet Metroid, and Bayonetta 3 this year. I know Nintendo has been doing the smaller just, and those are lit. Either way, how Nintendo do it, I'll be fine. If they do a full bloat Nintendo Direct, that would be hype, but this has been working for Nintendo. Smaller, just trailers up on their channel. They announced it on Twitter. We're going to drop a trailer tomorrow morning, and it's up there. I think the latter is more likely. Why? Expectations get too high for Nintendo Directs, and after most Nintendo Directs, it's fans complaining. I've complained too in the past, so I'm a part of the problem. But just having trailers of games of information lowest expectations and you can't complain they told you exactly what was gonna happen so can't wait can't wait for both um, um, information on both of those IPs all right next news item is pretty dope digital foundry just did a tech analysis of Doom Eternal running on the Switch and impressive stuff. These are some of the um, key points. All right. The average resolution is comparable to Doom 2016 in spite of the increase in visual complexity for Doom Eternal, which is dope. Higher pixel count than Wolfenstein 2 on the Switch. Um, the game maxes out at 720p when docked but can dip to just below 540 uh, when it's running in taxing situations. 600p is the ceiling on portable mode. Um, those are the main things. Maintain, this is another thing. So we got the frame rate, but this is what we also have to keep note of. It maintains 30 frames per second most of the time when docked. And so that is dope. Great, great, great work by um, who, who developed Doom again. I did the whole Doom Million. Um, ah, it's at the slip of my tongue. Somebody comment in the chat, the developers, because they deserve a shout out. They do a phenomenal, phenomenal job porting Panic Button. That's it. Panic Button. I got the first Doom. Um, Panic Button does a phenomenal job porting games to the switch so whenever you see a game and it's ported by panic button you know they're going to um give you a quality game on the switch all right next news item bro we got more information on mario 3d world and how the whole bowser fury mechanic works Check this out. This is coming from the official Nintendo UK website. Something bad has happened to Bowser. He's been tainted by mysterious black goop, turning him into a humongous monster bent on total destruction. It's up to Mario and an unlikely companion to travel across a series of islands on Lake Lapcat. 
a uh, couple of islands on Lake Lapcap. Collect the mysterious cat shines by completing different platforming challenges and harness their power to stop the terrifying Fury Bowser. With his papa transformed, Bowser Jr. can only hope to save his dad. Only hope to save his dad lies with his greatest enemy. Piloting his cute Koopa clown car, the young prince joins Mario on his quest, copying all of his moves, helping him to take out enemies and uncovering power-ups and other secrets that'll help you out. Pass a Joy-Con to a friend and play in local co-op with one player taking control of the little tyke directly to assist in your hunt for the cat shines. As you search high and low for the cat shines, the evil looking fury sun will slowly rise out of the lake near the island that you're currently on. Wow. When the weather suddenly changes from sunny to stormy, it's time to get a move on as Fury's Bowser's almost here. Once he emerges from, from the Fury Sun, he'll summon meteors from the sky and fire devastating fire beams at you. So take cover. While you can wait out the devastation, you are entirely helpless. If you've collected five cat shines on an island, this is where the cat shines come in. If you've collected five cat shines on an island, it's time to activate the awesome power of the Giga Bell. The gargantuan Super Bell transforms Mario into Giga Cat Mario, um, meaning he can fight Fury Bowser in a truly titanic tussle. So, in order to unlock the um, huge um, Mario that turns what Super Saiyan, you have to get the five cat shines on an island. Defeat Fury Bowser in your massive feline form and he'll be sent flying back into the water, unlocking new islands for you to explore. Don't spend too long celebrate or celebrating your victory as he'll be back. Dope stuff. And so when you defeat Bowser, more islands appear and you want you can defeat them by collecting the five sh cat shines to uh, turn into super duper mario i dubbed it super duper mario all right dudes those are all of the news items for today's video what do you guys think about the possibility of a metroid blowout this year Bayonetta 3, Doom Eternal Trek Analysis, and Mario. My kids are knocking on the door. I have them come in for the outro. Watch this. All right, dudes. What do you guys think of everything we talked about in this video? Sound, Sound off in, in the, the comment, comment section, section below. below. I, I want to know. know. But, but before, before you go. go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't have a... Oh, here you go. Before you go. Wait, 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 wait. We get it. I've got a car. Bro. Today. Click that, that subscribe button. button. Stay yeah, up to date. Oh, oh, watch this thing. Nin ten do peace. Now, I had a different bro for this video, but uh, when I reset my software, Pokemon Trader popped back up. Come on, man. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, Check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later.